good morning. We're still in the Medicine Bow National Forest at this amazing camping spot, and today's the big day. So we're supposed to be doing a big hike. I don't even know the name, maybe Snowy Peaks. I'm not sure, but we did get up at like 8.30. <laughs> but I made breakfast burritos because I made them so good last time, and I hope they, hope they still turn out the same. But I made enough for uh, both of us to have two. And these are really good for a big hike. I know mm -hmm. the hike, we'll get in more details about the hike, but I think it's 7.1 mm -hmm. miles, but we'll tell you the elevation and all that. I do know the peak we're hiking to is called Medicine Bow Peak, which is what the National Forest is named after. So we're going to smash these delicious things. Oh, Actually, yeah. are they good? Mm -hmm. I think the bacon grease did help out last time, mm -hmm. but I did use Monterey Jack cheese. Kelly, you always outdo yourself with these things. I love these burritos back to what we were talking about with this mountain. So we didn't say we are in Wyoming, if this is your first vlog to watch or if you missed the last one. So we're still in Wyoming as well. And this hike we're doing is called Medicine Bow Peak Loop. It is 7.1 miles. You're gonna gain 1,607 feet of elevation. There's an additional loop you can add to it. The Medicine Bow Peak along with the peak to the east of it has two loops as well, which are about 32 miles. And then that, those two make up snowy mountains. This will be officially the biggest hike we've done in uh, over a year. Which I think we got conditioned pretty well doing the six mile. And this is a loop, it's not out and back. Most of the hikes that we do are usually out and backs. The only other big loop we ever did was in Montana called Wolverine Lake oh, Loop. Yeah. That was 10 that miles. Yeah, that was rough. That was rough, but it was the most epic hike we've ever done. I love that hike. Only thing we got left to do, clean up dishes and do yoga. Then we can hit the road. Okay, seems like we're ready to go. We'll see you guys at the trailhead. Made it to the trailhead. They recommend that you take this loop clockwise, so that is what we're gonna do. I also wanted to let you guys know that right now it is 67 degrees outside and we are starting our hike at 10,493 feet and we will end, well, we'll gain at the most, the highest elevation we'll be at is 11,993 feet. That will be the highest peak in this area. And it is a gorgeous day. I'm so glad it is not hot. It's actually cooler today than it was yesterday. So like I said, we're gonna go clockwise. If you were gonna go counterclockwise, you would go the other way on the concrete path that I took yesterday, which on our way back, we will take that. Today on this hike, I'm gonna be wearing my La Sportiva's shoes again. We're gonna test those out for a long hike. I just missed my shoes I had last year. Even though I have the same shoe, it's made different. It's not the same. And I think that's why my ankles were hurting because there's not a lot of support. There's, I could put my finger back by my heel. I can't breathe now. That's a tough little climb already, but parking is down there. This was the scrambling spur and then we're now we're on the main trail here. And we need to go that way. Be able to hit it at the clockwise that everybody states you need to. The reason they say that you should do it clockwise is so that you can get the view of the lake and the peaks as you're walking. Kelly is digging this rock. This, yeah, look at that. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it shimmers. Like I would definitely have that as my countertop. I love it. Wow. I'm sure the camera's not picking up the uh, shimmer, but it is There's pretty. There's a little bit of hint of pink in it everywhere too. Like, that's weird. I don't know, I like it. All right, y'all, I'm so excited because we just ran into someone who told me that there's pikas up here. Not a few pikas, a lot of pikas. And if you know from our prior vlogs out west, my favorite animal is a pika. Well, one of my favorite animals. Wow. 
Honey, you're good going off the trail. Now that we've crested to basically the mountain, we're walking on the granite. Do you hear that? It sounds like a bunch of marbles. <laughs> oh, it sounds like glass. I don't know. I guess it's a or granite. Glass. Is this the right way? Yeah. Hey, so you see those posts? Yeah. Sure. That's a marker. Uh, okay. Earlier, I was talking to my mom because I only get service up here really well. And I got off trail. All that way out there, that's the grasslands and the valleys. This is one of the coolest hikes we've done in a while. I'm really digging it. How do you feel about it, honey? I'm just impressed with this whole area. This hike, this camping area, the views, the lakes, the mountains, all of it. I want to know what's worse. Last year, we camped at the valley right below where we're camping now. Woke up the next morning and kept driving to meet Jonathan in Glacier. Yeah, didn't even come over here. Didn't even realize this was over here. But that's why we like to do a little bit of things and then come back to the area because then we're always surprised. <sighs> Found a, a spot in the shade. Yeah. Thirsty, so we gotta get a drink of water. And I'm seriously strongly looking for pika. Last year, we didn't have this new cell phone that can zoom in really well. So now we actually have the iPhone 13 Pro that I can zoom in pretty well. It, sometimes it can be a little pixely. Sometimes it comes out pretty clear. But last year, I didn't have that to be able to see the pika. What blows my mind is that those little guys, when we find a pika, are so hardy. They can survive winters up here. Winters up here are so brutal compared to down in the valley. The valley can be really cold, have a lot of snow, but they have snow up here for the majority of the year. So those little pikas only get a few months out of the year to collect grass and any other kind of vegetation. And they put them up in little holes, crevices. They make little nests. Would you call it nests? I would just say they're homes. They're yeah. in the little rocks. They're not underground. They don't dig like moles. They're in the rocks. So they'll pack up as much as they can before the harsh winter comes again, and that's what they survive on through the winter. And they can't do very well in climates above 50 degrees. So they are always up at these higher altitudes. Luckily... Which worries me because it's warm up here this year. Actually, it's really 50. Warm. I think it, it was 60 down at the vehicle. We just 67, got... 67. So, but it is also later now. But we just walked up here and it's a lot chillier. Well, like, I'm still hot. <laughs> it's cold in the, in the shade. It's up here. Yeah, it feels like somebody turned the AC on. I really hope we see a pike y'all. You ready? Okay. We just saw Pika, they're so cute. I got him on camera. He is carrying leaves, uh, not leaves, but stuff in his mouth. He's so cute. So they make this weird, this little weird goes me sound. Oh, they're so precious. We got a Pika, we got a Pika. <laughs> We're now starting to summit Medicine Bow Peak and that is the peak right there. We've been walking behind the mountains this entire time since we, you saw us crest over. Now we're headed to the peak. I don't know how many miles in we are. I'm feeling pretty good.
Oh, here's the sun. Alright. There's the marker. We're on top of the world. This is one of the most beautiful views I have ever seen in my life. And not only this direction, and you can see the rain, which is really cool, but this direction. It's just 360 gorgeous views. And then that the peak right over there. A little bit of snow on those peaks, but there's the two lakes, Mary Lake, Lewis Lake, and then where we parked is down there. So we've got to make it back down that way, but we're going to see some gorgeous views on the way down as well. So well, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, we want to get off the mountain because it's not looking good up here either. We just don't want to get held on. Rain, okay, we just get wet and be a little cold, but that hell's going to kind of hurt. If y'all do decide to do this trail and you're ever in the area, make sure you have not real new shoes because you want to make sure your shoes are broken for your feet. But make sure you have something that has tread on it still because I could easily see you slipping a lot. Honey, we're about to walk through snow and there's birds all over it. Oh, yeah. Man. Ooh, that is cold. Yeah. <laughs> that hurts. So there's the post. And we've got to go down that. Sweet. Let's do it. Yeah, that's a really big lake. Wow. So that there's a trail over there too. That's yeah, not that's, where we're going, isn't no, it? No, no, that's the other peak that make up the uh, snow uh, snow mountain uh, tour. Where snow? Look at that snow too. Oh wow, there's a lot of snow. You hear it all running? Yeah. All that good drinking water? Oh, I want some of that. Y'all hear that? And I see him. Little booger. Little pika. So that dark black cloud up behind us on Medicine Bow Peak came out of nowhere. I mean, we were up there, there wasn't a cloud. We were looking southwest of us is where that storm was. And we started coming down, it just came out of nowhere. And we kind of beat it. Now that we're down here, it's sprinkling on the lakes a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was. Oh, 
All right, y'all, it's officially helling. Peace size hell. We just can't escape this hell, can we? I know. Like, I don't know what's going on. I mean, we've never in our lives been in this much hell. If it gets really bad, honey. Let's find us a tree to get up under. Okay. I'm okay right now. Yeah. Just walk a bit I'm just trying not to slip. I know. But like I'm that. Just saying, just like look down at the ground. All right. It seems like all she wrote for now. Are you checking the weather? No. Oh. I was just saying we're out of it for a second. <laughs> no, there it is again. We made it down to where I fished yesterday. We parked right there. I was fishing right there. And then this is that path I took the other day when I wanted to go on a little walk yesterday. It hadn't gotten any worse. FYI, the temperature has dropped a lot. I don't feel cold, I guess, because we've been going so hard, but it's probably about 50 degrees out I'd here. I'd say right. it's probably 55. My hands are cold, but they're also like the blood is rushed to the end of my fingers. So at least I'm not hot. Yeah. It feels good to me right now. It does. If I hadn't uh, been doing anything physical, it'd be chilly. Yeah. We are almost to the truck. And I wanted to tell you how my shoes did. So I'm wearing my La Sportivas. And this is the longest hike I've ever done in them. And right now my pinky toes hurt. Ankles, I won't know much about. But I'm just still struggling trying to find a hiking shoe that I really, really like. You don't know until you test it. And then you can't test it and then take it back to the store. So the hike, 7.1 miles. I think we started at 12. And it is 3.57. <sighs> Anyways, back to camp. I have not told y'all how much I love that hike, but it was one of the most epic hikes I've done. On up there with a sky pond, Wolverine Lake in Montana, and uh, what was it? Eye the Needle in mm -hmm. Arkansas. That's on up there is one of yeah. our favorites so It was far. just beautiful all around. Like you never stopped seeing views. Because of those other hikes that we did in the past, this one felt so much easier to do. We were able to knock it out and we were not exhausted. The elevation sickness was not there. Feeling strong again. Feeling really good. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling good. And my pinky toes quit hurting after I showered and put my regular shoes on. So, but when we got back to camp, there had been no rain here at all. So we're like, let's hurry and shower because it's the clouds are rolling in. We set up everything for the shower. I showered first, it started raining. It held a little bit pea size, nothing crazy. Cody took care of the awning. Then we switched out, he showered, and now the sun's trying to come out. So I'm just glad we got some of the dust knocked down because it was like the wild, wild west out here yesterday. I had dust i kid you not from the my jeans here all the way down so i had to wipe them off but i think i want to make a fire and for dinner i'm going to do mexican casserole Paws and Kelly's amazing cooking to talk about this real quick. This is coming through the middle of our camp. It rained and this just started. We got a little creek. We anticipated this issue and we kept trying to get the trailer as far over here as possible. So if Kelly did have to prepare food, she wasn't standing in water. Back to cooking.
That fire is so nice after cold rain. I think we're gonna go check out the meadow back here. Today has officially been one of the greatest days of my life. I love the hike, I love the food. Matter of fact, the Mexican casserole Kelly made was on up there as one of the best ones she's ever made. Oh, that was pretty good. But yeah, everything's been epic. Like this camp spot is epic. The hike was epic. I've enjoyed all of it. This it is so good back here. Is it the flowers? I think it is the flowers. <sighs> I know it's not a sunset. And the reason we want to bring you out here tonight is because when we record tomorrow, it's supposed to rain from yeah. noon till nine. I, I got a little service. I checked the weather from noon tomorrow to actually midnight. Midnight? But after seven, it's like a 30%. So who knows what it's going to do. But we want to enjoy tonight just in case we have to eat, clean up dishes, and hurry and get in the tent. And we told you on the last vlog that Kelly and I came out here with our, cheat, our grilled cheese. Yeah. And we saw the sunset, and you're not seeing the sunset that we saw. We're yeah, so it sorry. Like, it was like, you could, it was just orange and pink. There was no clouds in the sky yesterday. It was beautiful. We just wanted y'all to experience a little bit of it because we, we might not see it because after tomorrow we're leaving. And if it rains all day tomorrow, this is the best we can get for y'all. But there's also a little a brook over here, right? Uh, it's, it's a little water stream, nothing too much. Is it marshy? Really? It's marshy. There it well, is. Maybe you, I can clean you're the there. shoes off a little bit. Yeah, you're there. Oh yeah. That's marshy. No wonder there's moose and elk coming back here. So pretty. I love life. It's so cool. It's amazing to be able to be in all these different places and experience everything. Experiencing life. And you know the biggest part is it's not so much experiencing the physical like landscape, it's who you're with. Mm -hmm. You got food in your teeth. I don't care. <laughs> He's my angel princess. She said I got, what number? Uh, stop. Between 10 and 11. 10 and 11. That's a dental talk right there. I got food stuck in you between. You almost got it. I think it's some cilantro. It is cilantro. It went back up in there. Dang it. <laughs> I need to floss tonight. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see y'all tomorrow here at this campground for one more day, but we'll catch you on the other. See you next time.